This is Red Magic 8 Pro and today I will give you a few practical advices on how to fix overheating or simply cool this device down. So this phone is a real powerhouse of gaming and has a lot of productivity and performance built into it and sometimes things might be hot of course i mean things might get hot and in order to cool your phone down uh, the active measures that you can take is to go into settings then first first of all the most important characterizing feature of this phone is that you can en enable and manipulate the built-in fan so enter the cooling fan category of settings and then turn it on here you can put it in auto mode or fast cooling which will uh, which will be even more effective in uh, reducing your device internal and external temperatures so leave it active until your phone will be well cool enough to handle or well just completely cooled down and then on top of that you can also throw a power saving mode or battery saver feature so go into settings battery battery saver and turn it on uh, obviously it will achieve its power saving capabilities by cutting down on the performance department but that's completely normal i would assume if you are after uh, reducing the temperatures it well most probably you just prior prioritize the well cooling of your system higher than performance at least at this given moment and on top of that i will also give a practical advice on how to prevent overheating so uh, from my experience with this phone it gets real real hot if you will put it to fast charging so try avoid fast charging it I mean it sounds kind of silly since I mean if the phone has the fast charge I, I mean everybody would like to use it to you know uh, get advantage of this very convenient and cool feature uh, but it really really I mean things get real hot if you just use the fast charge technology uh, and well if it is gets if it does get um, hot while or doing the fast charge or fast charging you can kind of fix that by enabling the charge separation option over here as you will or actually yeah I gotta first of all stick my charger into the phone so let me do that. So here, turn on the charge separation toggle. And here it says that after this is turned on, only the phone will be charged with power, not the battery. This will help prevent heat generation. So I guess that's the last measure that you can take. And well, if you will, I mean, that's the feature that is here just for the moments when you would like to charge your uh, phone at the moderate rate or do not overheat it but the only charging equipment you have is the fast charge equipment so I guess uh, I mean makes up for it it just uh, this way if this option is enabled it will stay in the um, adequately charged charging rate or I mean it will not really charge in the normal sense of this uh, I mean in the normal sense of charging uh, as you can see from here, <laughs> since charging rapidly in 45 days until full, it will just uh, leave the system at its current um, battery level and charge it very, very slowly. So basically, it's just an artificial cap, which uh, allows you to use the fast charging wire or the fast charging uh, brick as it would be just normal, slow USB to Type-C charging, to USB-A to Type-C charging thing because my charger is Type-C to Type-C. Anyway, I mean, that will be everything I wanted to tell you today. So if you found this video helpful, do not forget to leave a like, comment and absolutely subscribe to our channel for more videos like that. Thanks and bye-bye.